Today I am demoing a setup I made for a Covington wet belt sander. Uh, I was on a group, a Facebook group, I can't remember if it was co-working or if it was uh, Glass Campus, uh, but there was a conversation about making uh, casters for the um, Covington. So I put my thinking cap on because I actually have arthritis in my hands, so anything that's going to make uh, working co-working easier I'm all over it. So this is what I came up with. This is um, a rigging that sits in the base of uh, uh, the basin of the Covington. I used a uh, aluminum kick plate. I just cut it with the jigsaw and uh, some inch and a half fixed casters. Uh, there's a lot of fixed casters, but there are a lot of it, it provides a lot of weight and stability. Um, to the rigging and I used two inch stainless steel screws uh, to provide me for a very 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 sturdy base so anyway it fits right um, into the base into the basin um, of the machine and provides a very sturdy foundation um, for conveyance of the glass in front of the belt I will demo uh, how, how I use it um, to slide the glass back and forth um, it tracks very well. Um, I tried to make sure that I got the glass uh, straight, uh, you know, so that I wouldn't have any issues uh, with uh, with tracking. So anyway, my Covington is old. I bought it used. Uh, so forgive the noise, but here we go. So that shows you how to use um, the conveyor system with um, a piece of, say, flat glass. I also made a rigging to work with circles. And um, I used waffle grid that you would use with um, any of the cutting systems um, that are out there. I don't, I don't know which waffle grid this was. This was just one that I could get. Um, started off as 12 inch squares and uh, I cut it down um, to the size I needed to work um, with this particular rigging. So anyway, I drilled four holes in the aluminum base for this to fit um, into. So this just slides right down into those holes um, that are in the aluminum base right here. So it sits on top of the casters and is that very, very sturdy. I created so there's about a half inch of space between the belt um, and the waffle grid. Also, most cutting systems come with um, speed balls, and the speed balls help the glass slide across the uh, cutting surface of the waffle grid easily. So I um, put the speed balls in there to help me make um, concentric circles um, as I'm grinding. So again, I'll cut the grinder on, and you'll be able to see, or the sander on, and you'll see how um, I'm using the wet belt sander. You can see it makes um, grinding the circle quite easy. Um, there's something to be said for just being able to spin the glass as opposed to um, actually having to hold the glass up and spin at the same time. So I will say that the system works. There's probably any number of ways that this could be uh, re-engineered um, simpler. Um, you know, just you know, one way I right off the bat is that there's re no real reason that the waffle grid couldn't be used. Um, simply put to just slide the glass back and forth. Um, so this is my first attempt at it and um, I will probably be doing some re-engineering myself but for right now it definitely works for my purposes and it makes life easier. 
So I hope it uh, gives you some ideas on what you can do to make your equipment uh, work a little bit easier for you. Bye-bye.